in your lifetime, in your lifetime, a computer will be built that can process more instructions per second, many more, an order of magnitude more instructions per second than the human brain. What does that mean to us as a species? So this piece is called the Herwitz Singularity. This piece, in a way, is looking at the, the fragmentation of humanity because, because this, the technological singularity is a moment that people are talking about where, where, where computers potentially overtake hum humanity in their ability to make decisions. You look at the journey, okay, so you go from a single cell to the next moment being the worm, which was processing, I don't know, roughly, say, a million processes per second in its brain. So you look at an earthworm, it's processing a million per second. You look at a, a lizard, for example, the thinking is that a lizard can probably process a billion. Now, if you look at the journey from three and a half billion years ago to the emergence of the lizard, which was about 350 million years ago, you see it took just over three billion years to go from 144 processes per hour to a billion per second. So you can see that processing power is actually a very important part of evolution, although it's happening a lot slower than it is in computers. I mean, you move on to, I don't know, the mouse, which in, in some form or another was probably about 100 million years ago, you're starting to talk about a petaflop of processing power. So a mouse, as it moves through life, is probably doing about a billion, billion processes a second. And, and actually, in uh, maybe 2011, the IBM came out with a computer called the Blue Gene, which was approximately capable of doing the same kind of processing. So you're looking at, just to summarize this, you're looking at the evolution of computers from 1940, what's that, um, 71 years, achieving the same level of processing power which drove the evolution of species from the cell to the mouse. Right now, although we're not getting the full force of this machine is more intelligent than me as an individual, the machine is already has got a level of probabilistic understanding of us, the Google machine, for example, which is remarkable. These things are today, the decision-making process, the weightings in the algorithms are being controlled by humans, but the day is near when machines optimize their own algorithms, you know? And I suppose the point where the story ends or where it's reached today is you have the human who can process an exaflop, roughly, that's the estimate, and you have this new computer that Fujitsu have just made, the Fujitsu K, which is extremely close. So three and a half billion years, slow curve, um, what, 1940 to 2013, 73 years, um, much steeper curve but a very, very, very similar evolutionary pattern happening. So the question is, where's this going? Statistically, we are extremely close. In your lifetime, in your lifetime, a computer will be built that can process more instructions per second, many more, an order of magnitude more instructions per second than the human brain. What does that mean? to us as a species.